Emilia's work, we're going to be going around Cash Valley. We're starting to see these cute little orange bikes popping up everywhere. What's that all about? Yeah, so that's Logan's new um, bike share program. So it's um, a cooperation between Utah State University and Logan City. And then we also have partnered with a third party agency called Spin Bike. And they are the company that's brought the bikes here and that administers the whole program. So we're really excited. Um, any Logan resident um, or anyone in Cash Valley or visitor, anyone that's here can download the app at spin.pm and then you just scan the code that's on the bike and you can check it out and wow. yeah so it's really easy for residents it to use. It sounds really easy. How much does it cost? It's about a dollar a ride so a dollar per half hour ride and so if you go over that half hour it'll just automatically start charging for the next half hour. So presumably when you download the app you've probably got to put in a credit card number? Yeah you do. You download the app and then it asks you to put in the credit card number and on that app you can see where all the bikes are around you and you can see um, you know how much of a balance I think you just reload about five dollars at a time and you can okay. see your balance and you can see where the bikes are and that's how you check them out it's really convenient mm -hmm. it's a great idea too to not everybody has access to a bike not everybody can afford to go and buy a bike mm -hmm. uh, which is a fabulous uh, way of getting exercise yeah. but at this way you can take a bike out for an hour's drive around for two dollars and, and get that exercise yeah you can get the exercise you can also take it to run you know to grab lunch on your lunch break you can take it you know just to the library um, yeah. we're gonna have some at trails so you can go on a nice little jaunt on a trail so there's a lot of you know great convenient ways to use yeah. a spin bike and I think honestly it would make running errands a little more fun so. <laughs> yeah um, so now is this a one-way trip or is it a, I mean if I want to say someone wants to drive one out to Smithfield for something can they leave the bike there do they have to bring it back how does it work I mean they do ask that you bring the bikes back to Logan City proper just because that's where they have the authority to administer the program but they are one way so say I was at Smith's and wanted to go to the library I can pick up a bike there and take it just to the library and leave it at the library say I want to walk somewhere else and I don't want the bike anymore I don't have to keep it so it can just be a one you know a short distance kind of get you around town a little bit easier and more convenient. I noticed do they have the baskets on the front? Yeah they do they have the baskets on the front so you can put your bag or something in there and your groceries anything that you want to do so yeah I mean I think it'd be great if you were you know out somewhere and wanted to stop at Smith's then you can catch the bus back up to campus so it really is complimentary to all different kinds of people that are in the valley and I think it's a great thing for even like our summer citizens that come uh-huh yeah absolutely so uh, where they I've seen them along Main Street where else are they located and are they going to be in in more locations um, so they're really concentrated right now in the downtown area and then up on campus um, and then we're just kind of going to see where people ride them to so that we know where they're going and where maybe we would want to have more and like I said we're going to put some at some trail so maybe the trail's a little long for walking, but it might be perfect for a little bike on a nice afternoon in the summer. So oh, it's great. That's mm -hmm. a fabulous idea. Yeah. So tell us how we get to get in contact with you, or is it uh, we just literally download the app? You you literally just download the app, but we do have a little more information about the program. There's some rules at spin.loganutah.org, and so that's the best place to go. It tells you where to download the app, all the rules, um, where you can leave the bikes, which is kind of just about anywhere that's on public property so yeah you can you know we ask that you leave them near a bike rack but you know you can leave them on the sidewalk as well so yeah it's really great it sounds like a really fun activity and we're coming up to the time of year when that's just going to be a really nice uh, I can imagine families taking picnics down to Willow Park and that kind of thing you yeah, know absolutely and you know taking a little jaunt around the neighborhoods right. in the afternoon so we're really excited to see how our community uses these bikes and you know and hopefully they remain popular so we can keep them around and and people can use them for years to come so okay. well if you fancy a bike ride, head down to uh, downtown Logan and uh, get you a bike out and have a really great time. Thanks, Emily. Yeah, thank you.